Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I hope you've enjoyed those past few videos. Um, what I did was the week before I videoed every day because we were so busy with garden prep, getting seed down, doing this, doing that. And so I kind of got behind on the editing. And uh, so now we're actually caught up and here I am. Um, I, it's given me some time to go ahead and I did some canning this week and um, just housework in general. So, oh, and I got to visit with a friend. That was awesome too yesterday. So today my list is building and I, I'm a list maker all the time. Um, I have the food force needs attention. The mulberries need pruning. Uh, this salsa garden behind you, oh, ugh, oh my gosh, it needs a whole day unto itself. Um, and um, I need to sow more red cabbage seeds because uh, you saw that I had a lot of non-germination in those cells. Um, and then Kutuk, I have baby Kutuk that needs to go out in the ground. So I don't think we're going to get like all that done. I have very low expectation of that. But I do want to at least go to each section or two and pull out the worst, the ugliest of the what's going on in each area. For example, like um, the food forest, that, that walkway is just driving me nuts. Every time I walk in there, ever since the storm, it put down all the pine needles and then it also, the squirrels are eating the pine cones and dropping little bits down. It's driving me nuts. It needs a little bit of a, a lawnmower run through in a couple sections. So, um, you know, if I just like, that's just one example, but if I just do one or two things in there, that prepares me for next week to really get at it hard. So, and over here I have uh, dead uh, zinnias that need to be pulled out, the, the hurricane killed them. So uh, if I can do that, pull the Spanish moss, we're good. And so um, also let me show you what else is going on right here. This is where I have all those onions. And um, we were doing really good until I fertilized. And guess what? When I fertilized, all the weeds got all that nitrogen too. And I had, a, plus the rain from the hurricane. And I've had a massive explosion in here. And uh, this right here is just going to take a lot of little um, coming ins and doing that. So I think if I can just get the first row started, then the next day I'll do the second row. So I'm thinking maybe this might be a two day video and not just one um, because I'll have to work in and out of, um, you know, clouds, storms. Uh, we're supposed to get rain too later. Uh, I might have to do a clothing change because I'm in jeans for laying down on this dirt. But at some point I'm gonna have to go back into shorts because I can already feel, I'm, the humidity is just incredible. You can hear the cicadas. So, all right, let's get to work. <laughs> Lane. Wow, it's all in here. All right, so most all of this, you know, it's like 90 95% weeded. I do have a little bit over here, but um, this right up here is a, um, a bee box, and they were not happy with me being under here, so I got swiped over the head a couple of times. So I was like, okay. I'll wait till you go to bed and then I'll come out here and do that side. But for the most part, you can see this is looking really, really nice. 
Um, it, it could use a little hoeing in here. It could use a couple things. But for right now, if I don't run out of time, this is good, on, good enough. And I wanted to move on to the next project, which was the mulberry trees. I have dwarf ever-bearing mulberries. Um, and I gave them a healthy, healthy prune. And um, that one went way up there in the sky. I still see one more I've missed, huh? But, um, and then I used it a, a bit of as um, a chop and drop type of thing. Look what I found while I was doing all that pruning in here. That is a toothache plant. So I actually did plant this in the spring and I was like totally forgetting about that. So I had one remaining, made it through all the heat of the summer, no irrigation or anything. This is my jelly fig and I was hoping to see a little something might be going on but maybe not also maybe it's wishful thinking but i'm hoping next year's the year for my jelly fig and then while um the camera is charging i just sent it inside for a little bit to charge the sweet almond was out of control as you can see there's a, a good lean to it i think the hurricane might have done that because it was so top heavy and I took all that top off of it. I'll have to come back with a stake when somebody else can stake it in for me and we'll pull that straight. But for right now it's chop and drop around the nectarine and around the sweet almond. So that's good. Everything seemed to do pretty good through that storm. I'm really impressed. Um, of course they're all staked, you know, so that was great. Even my, this peach tree, this is the tropical sweet peach tree. Oh my gosh, it's only not even been a year here in my yard. It's been like um, April, so six, seven months. It looks amazing. Okay, let's continue with the little knockoff jobs um, that were driving me nuts. So I need a broom and I'm gonna set you up so you could see me sweep the food floor. so I at least have a path again it's still a hot mess in here but at least uh, next time I go and I have more time uh, I'll have uh, you know somewhere to walk in order to address all these vines again not the grape vines I'm talking about the weed vines and I have a wild muscadine look at that right there um, but I'm not gonna eat these I'll leave those for birds this is where I need to get the lawnmower in next but I need to pull up these not just pull up i just need to move over this is seminal pumpkin so i'm gonna bring it over to here it can do all it wants over here but i, I need to get the lawnmower in i can weed whack this section but i definitely want to just be able to bring the lawnmower in here oh look at this fine right here gotta go this gotta go this gotta go Papaya looking good. Got some fruit on there. It dropped, lost some fruit during the hurricane, unfortunately. Grumachami looking really good. Yeah, this, it's got little buds right here and that is gonna be the next set of leaves. It will flower in the spring. It did flower just barely <laughs> this spring. So next spring is gonna be our big year. That's why I cut the um, Mexican sunflower. Um, down because I needed to, it to have just a little bit more light in the sky to put some growth on and that was perfect and then Ian hit she had lots and lots of water doing really good I mean there's a Mexican sunflower in there but uh, I think some of those stalks kind of broke during the hurricane but it was great that this had just had a trim and that that way it wasn't uh, subject to pull itself over I saw a lot of people in um, central Florida had their Mexican sunflowers pulled completely over by the hurricane and the soft wind. Uh, over here is kind of like my berry patch. If you're new, it needs some love. This is blackberries over here on the vine. We lost this one this year. So anyhow, we have blackberries here. 
I do want to, um, you know, do air layering. I think that would be good to replace that one I had. I don't want to spend money. These are raspberries over here. So they're, yeah, they need to go for these things. These are not thornless. I think that's in the ground. We talked about that before. Here's another um, raspberry. This is the black raspberry. The other one was Dorma Red. This is like Washington. Was it Washington? I can't ever memorize this one. So it is, oh, Cumberland Black. So there you go. It's coming back after a hard summer. I have all sorts of grapevines on the trellises, star fruit, uh, Mexican green, cream guava. I got a strawberry guava coming from a friend. Uh, elderberries kind of tucked in the back. This is the uh, uh, grapefruit. It dropped a little bit of fruit prematurely with the storm. This is Mexican sage, just a little perennial in here. And look, okay, so it's in full bloom. Bees love it, right? But look what it's doing. It's already putting on next year's uh, coming plants. The beauty berries right here. The Turk's cap hibiscus is hiding over there in the corner. Can you see him? Oh yeah. Just coming back after that hard prune. There's also, um, if you can see tucked in here, the little bit of turmeric. Um, I caught, this is funny. I wasn't even, there was no food in the trap. It was just open. And an armadillo walked right in one night. That was about two nights ago. And so we just took him over up the road and released him up there so he won't come back in here. I don't know that he was looking for anything in particular, but he just found a way in because I still haven't shut that hole up that's right over right there in there. So peanut butter tree, as you can see, has fallen over. Got heavy with flu. I hear fruit. I hear the bees buzzing over my head. Look at the flowers. Yes, that's the flowers. And there's the fruit at the early stage. The fruit almost done. Uh-oh, got to get all this. That's another thing. I got Spanish moss everywhere. Uh, so, anyhow, we'll pull the tree back. This needs to go today. That's another thing that um, is on my list. For Wasn't on the list, but mentally it was on my list. Um, here's my um, Piper Nigem. One of them. I have two of them. On the cattle panel so that looks good i lost this grapevine this needs to come out when i come in here and do a full cleanup um oh right look turmeric bloom yeah so if you guys know which one of the turmerics releases this color flower it's beautiful isn't it i don't know if it's white you know or there's like different colors turmerics so let me know if you know what that one is this is my um, rose. I think it's like an angel rose. I have a key lime in here, so we, I need to come in and uh, pull the dead here, pull the dead here, put a layer of mulch down, trim everything back so I can see it. The miracle fruit. I already ate six of them this morning with my juice. Look at the miracle fruit. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys are seeing it. All right, look at them all in there. So it's going nuts. It's not really supposed to be a tour, but so um, my son is going to come help me and pick up my piles for me. Although I could probably start doing that myself. And he's one other thing he's going to do for me, and we're going to make another video. So not today, but my green stalks are in here, and I really have got to. Let's see, there's like six or seven. One, two, three, four, five six for sure in here and they all they're not supposed to be in here they just were um temporarily in here they need to come out my uh i did a up potting on my stevens cranberry and it did not like it and it's trying to lose all its leaves i don't think it's dead i just think it's unhappy probably not the best thing to be transplanted and then have a hurricane but um, so Katuk is next on my list and I want to put them back here by the chicken coop because I think they would be an excellent source of food for the chickens and they're going to stay kind of small. We'll keep them small and uh, pruned up. So I'm just going to put them in the back real quick.
so I just put those little uh, wire thingies there just to remind me not to hit them with a the lawnmower. And uh, also I have a lot of Biden's Elva that goes on the fence and I kind of like that for when I want tea. This is a good area, it's sort of a na native area. So the Katuk is gonna go really nicely back here. Uh, eventually this will all be filled in a beautiful little part of the food forest. Look what else I just noticed. Does that not look like a fruit tree to you? There's four of them right here. Um, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, it probably belongs to this one, which is a sour orange. And it likes to throw sour oranges on the ground, as you can see. And I think it's, it just finally took root. Ooh, I see you falling over, let me help you. So you can get rain today. Oh, look at the sweet potatoes. Gotta address those. Not today. That's actually, I'm gonna do a whole video just on salsa garden alone. Look, more Biden Zelda. Yep. Um, excellent. Use it like chamomile. I put it in tea. Oh my gosh, it helped my sore throat right away. Lantana in a pot because you know they can get a little supposedly invasive, but I don't think so. I haven't seen that to be true yet. So here are, uh, what's going to be my uh, community sewing. I, that's what I call it. I don't know if there's an official name, but I have Red Acre Old Seed. We're just gonna put a, a whole bunch in there. And I have Red Express. Oh, Red Acre, let's put the tag in there. Red Express, which is what I was trying to grow over on this side. Put a whole bunch in there. There, there must be 150 or so seeds. Express green, got the green light. And now we're gonna cover these up. And I know it's tight, that's the purpose, is because I don't wanna waste a lot of time and resources, dirt and everything. Uh, what I want to do immediately is to see what I can get to germinate out of this old seed. Obviously, um, Red Express did not do very well for me in the trays. So a community sow, see what pops up. It might just be few, it might be a lot. Maybe, you know, it's weather related. Maybe I did something wrong, covered him too much out there or something. But okay, so I'm gonna put these in there. I got the seeds in there, lightly covered. Uh, my hose broke, so I'm just going to carefully let that sink down. Yeah, and so if if and whatever germinates out of these two, I will quickly pull them up before they put on their first two leaves, and then put them into the seedling tray so we can have and recover. Um, um, from a bad low germination and then uh, we'll still be able to treat them like the rest and, and recover and put them in the garden whenever we're ready to transplant. I think it is. Do you guys see that right there? I hope that's a baby celery. Anyhow, we'll know in time. Yep, and this guy's back here recovering after heat stroke. <laughs> he got awfully dry. He needs to go on the ground, but he had to soak up some water first and he looks to be recovered, so we'll do that soon. One of the last jobs I need to do, because I think the rain is coming very soon, is uh, to put the ammonium sulfate out on the onions, and that way they can be soaking it up. It's water soluble, and so they will absolutely love this. So that's it. I think the rain is right on our heels. Uh, the sky is getting darker and darker as we go. But as I close out the video, my neighbor was starting to do a lot of drilling. He's putting up a pergola, which is going to be so beautiful to his backyard. But um, I thought it'd be quieter up front.
But let me show you what is going on in here. Do you see the babies? Uh oh, something ate that one. That's going to happen. I must have put a thousand seeds out here. Easily a thousand. Zinnias everywhere and sunflowers. Not that, that's a weed. Look at them all. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yes, they're everywhere. Oh, super, super excited to see this is going to turn into my uh, not so happy accident. I mean, very happy accident, but not so accident and uh, very purposeful this time. But I, I, it brought me so much joy to do it three years ago. It brought me a lot of joy to re-see that video. And um, I love it. I love the idea that this is just going to be a bed of flowers. I, we bought some pumpkins to put in here for the grandbaby to see. And uh, she hasn't been over yet to see them, but when she does, that'll be super cool. Let me show you this real quick. Oh, look at the colors. Oh my gosh, even the green. The green seems to like to stay smaller, but the yellow's superb. Look at that color, yellow and blue. Um, the carrots are in. I don't think I've seen them pop up at all. Oh, still way too early. I mean, that was just only a couple, three days ago. But look what I discovered while watering this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not that one. Seven. Seven nasturtium babies. So that just added to my list of things that I need to do because they cannot stay in the carrot rows and let's move them while they're still very little. And I think maybe right here... We'll have a block of, it only takes like two, could put three in there, but like two for sure nasturtiums would fill up this whole section. And then that would leave us, um, you know, some to put, I think I have two containers back there by the boat barn that need amending and filling. And I think that would be a great thing to put in there. Oh my word, look at the beauty. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh. Flowers make me almost as happy as vegetables. So while we're waiting for vegetables, might as well enjoy the flowers. See my little fall display? Aren't they cute? You might have seen that in the last video. Or maybe I didn't have the hay and pumpkins here last video. But they're there now. And that's it, you guys. This is where we're going to end the video. So thank you for uh, joining me through this little project's morning. And take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.